The revolution will not be televised. The revolution is here. <laughs> So uh, tell me a little bit about Bash. What's it about? Um, without giving away too much, sure. Be tantalizing. Yeah, but tell us a little. Leave a little bit. Uh, well, Bash is three separate pieces. It's uh, two monologues and a piece, kind of two monologues together, done by two separate people. Um, but they tell stories of events, important events in these people's lives. Two of the pieces in this show, made up of three pieces, are um, sort of retellings of Greek myths. Um, loose, loose retellings, but they deal with a lot of the same themes, um, Iphigenia and Medea. They both deal a lot with family, they both deal a lot with loyalty, a lot with um, sort of where your loyalties lie and why. Tell me a little bit more about who do you, who do you play in each piece and what their relationship is to, uh, to the other characters and to the play in whole. Yeah, well the first piece I play Man. He doesn't have a name. Um, so I play the, the family man who uh, is in the lobby in this uh, casino in Las Vegas and finds this guy to uh, dump this confession on. The first piece I do is Medea Redux and I play the woman. She does not have a name, textually. I'm not going to give her story away, but she talks about um, a very sort of defining series of events in her young life and um, her relationship with her son and with the person who really sort of made her who she turns into. And in the second piece, A Gaggle of Saints, I play Sue, who is um, a recent college graduate. Uh, she's a Mormon. <laughs> she's very happy. She has a very sort of sunny disposition, um, sort of the world through rose-colored glasses. And um, we get to hear her perspective of a story that we also hear her fiance's perspective of that same story. And they're very different, very conflicting views of sort of the same events. The third piece is, again, the two uh, Mormon 20-something. And I play the guy who uh, relates his versions of that bash in New York City. Through the pieces, you kind of get a look at the darker side of humanity. Um, and what's interesting is that all four of these characters are very likable in their own way. Um, they all have qualities that when you see them, especially before you know what's going on, it's kind of like, oh, okay, I've seen you, uh, you know, in the grocery store, you do my taxes, or, you know, like, I would have a beer with you. Um, but then all of a sudden, it delves into this darkness that is in these people, and, you know, to some extent in everyone, but and it's revealed and it's this shocking revelation to see this, to see what people are capable of. I hope that it makes people realize or helps them re-realize the vast scope and range of the gray areas in life. Um, some people may find all four of these characters pretty despicable people, but I would argue, although what they do may not be right. Um, what they do is not necessarily wrong either. And in some cases, <laughs> um, in most cases, in two of the cases anyway. But, um, but they, all, they all are coming from a place where they genuinely believe that what they're doing is right. And um, it, so, it sort of makes you wonder, like, if someone is absolutely committed to this act, from their point of view, this act is a true, good, right thing. So it makes you wonder, well, what, you know, what do I think is true, good, and right, and why do I think that? Bash, The Latter Day Plays, performs Thursdays through Saturdays starting June 2nd. Be sure to check back here for extras and deleted scenes for my interviews with the cast. For ticket information, visit the homepage at iontheater.com and look for us on Facebook and Twitter. <laughs>